you are currently trapped inside a bubble. It is a perfect sphere, extending exactly 46 billion light years in every direction, with you frozen at the exact center. Inside this sphere is everything you have ever known, every star you will ever see, and every atom that you can ever interact with. We call this the observable universe, but there is a terrifying catch. We are told that space is infinite, that if you travel far enough, you will find endless seas of galaxies and stars forever. But that is not what our eyes tell us. When we look up, we don't see infinity. We see a hard limit, a black void where the stars simply stop. For centuries, humanity looked at that darkness and assumed it was just empty space. We assumed that the blackness marked the edge of existence. But we were wrong. That blackness is not a void. It is a wall. And the reason you need to understand this wall is that it holds the answer to the most impossible contradiction in physics. How can a universe that is only 13 billion years old be 93 billion light years wide. If nothing can travel faster than light, that math shouldn't be possible. The universe is seemingly breaking its own fundamental laws. To understand how and to see what lies beyond that wall of darkness, we have to strip away human perception and look at the universe as it actually is. The first rule you have to accept is that you are not looking at a place. You are looking at a time. Light has a speed limit. It moves at a constant pace, roughly 300,000 kilometers every second. That sounds fast, but on a cosmic scale, it is agonizingly slow. The light from the moon is one second old. The sunlight hitting your skin is eight minutes old. When you look at the nearest bright star, you are seeing it as it existed four years ago. This means that looking into deep space is exactly the same thing as looking back in time. The deeper you look, the older the image. This is why we are trapped in a bubble. As we look further out, we look further back, past the birth of stars, past the formation of galaxies, until eventually we look back so far that we hit the beginning. That black edge you see in the sky, that is the horizon of time. We cannot see past it because light hasn't had enough time since the beginning of the universe to travel from there to here. So logically, if we calculate the age of the universe, we should know the size of our bubble. We know with high precision that the universe began roughly 13.8 billion years ago. Therefore, the edge of our vision should be exactly 13.8 billion light years away. It's a simple equation. Travel time equals distance. But if you built a spaceship and traveled 13.8 billion light years out, you wouldn't hit the edge. You wouldn't even be close. You wouldn't even be halfway there. The actual edge is over 46 billion light years away. So how did the light get so far so fast? Did it break the speed limit? Was Einstein wrong? To solve this, we have to look at what that edge actually is. Because if you had superhuman eyes, that black void wouldn't look black at all. It would be blindingly bright. We need to talk about the invisible wall. When the universe began, it wasn't a cold vacuum. It was a hot, dense, soup of energy. It was so hot that atoms couldn't form. It was just a chaotic ocean of plasma. This plasma was opaque light couldn't travel through it. It was trapped, bouncing around like a pinball inside a machine. This lasted for 380,000 years. Then space cooled down, just enough for the first atoms to form. Suddenly, the fog cleared, and all that trapped light was released at once. That light is still traveling today. It is the oldest thing in existence, and it is hitting you right now from every direction. The reason you don't see a glowing white sky at night is that the light has stretched. Imagine a ripple on on a pond. When you drop a rock, the waves are tight and tall. But as they travel across the water, they flatten out. Light behaves the same way. Over billions of years, the waves of that first ancient light have stretched out so much that they have dropped out of the visible spectrum. They went from visible light down into infrared and finally into microwaves. We can't see microwaves with our eyes, but we can build machines that do. If you turn on a radio telescope and point it at the blank space between the stars, you will pick up a signal, a faint constant hum. We call this the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This is the wall. When we map this signal, we aren't seeing galaxies or stars. We are seeing the ghost of the universe as it was 13.8 billion years ago. It is a baby picture of the cosmos. But looking at this map, reveals the second clue to our paradox. The map isn't smooth, it's splotchy. There are clumps of matter here and empty spots there. These tiny imperfections are important because they show us that the universe 
was never static. It was always moving. And this brings us to the mistake that held back astronomy for a generation. In the early 20th century, even the greatest minds, including Albert Einstein, believed the universe was static. They thought the stars you see today are the same stars that were there yesterday, sitting in the same positions. But Einstein had a problem. His own theory of general relativity suggested that gravity should be pulling everything together. If the universe was just sitting there, gravity would eventually cause it to collapse into a big crunch. To fix this, Einstein invented a fudge factor in his math. He called it the cosmological constant, a mysterious anti-gravity force that pushed back against gravity to keep the universe steady. He later called this his biggest blunder. But as it turns out, the blunder was actually a prophecy. While Einstein was scribbling on chalkboards, a man named Edwin Hubble was looking through a telescope. Hubble was studying faint smudges of light that everyone thought were gas clouds nearby. But by measuring the pulse of specific stars inside them, Hubble realized these weren't clouds. They were entire galaxies, millions of light years away. But Hubble noticed something else, something terrifying. He analyzed the light coming from these galaxies. Just like the sound of an ambulance siren drops in pitch as it drives away from you, light drops in frequency as the source moves away. It shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. Hubble saw that almost every Every single galaxy was redshifted. They were all moving away from us. And not only that, the further away they were, the faster they were moving. This shattered the idea of a static universe. The universe was expanding. And this is the key to the impossible math. Imagine you are an ant walking on a rubber band. You are walking at a constant speed. Let's say one centimeter per second. That is the speed of light. Your goal is to reach a crumb at the end of the rubber band. But while you are walking, someone starts stretching the rubber band. You are moving forward, but the path beneath your feet is stretching out. If the stretching is fast enough, the crumb moves away from you faster than you can walk toward it. You haven't slowed down. You are still moving at your top speed. But the distance is growing. This is exactly what is happening to space. When we say the universe is 13.8 billion years old, we mean the light has been traveling for 13.8 billion years. But in that time, the space through which that light traveled has expanded. The galaxy that emitted that light isn't where it was when the light started its journey. It has been carried away by the expansion of space. So the light traveled for 13 billion years, but the source of that light is now 46 billion light years away. The scary part is that this expansion isn't slowing down. It's speeding up. Remember Einstein's blunder, the anti-gravity force? We now know it is real. We call it dark energy. It is an unknown form of energy that lives in empty space. It pushes galaxies apart. And here is the rule that breaks your brain. Einstein said, matter cannot travel through space faster than light. That is true. But space itself is not matter. Space is nothing. And nothing can go faster than light. The space between us and the distant galaxies is expanding so fast that the distant edge of the universe is effectively receding seeding from us faster than the speed of light. This leads to a somber realization about our future. Because the expansion is accelerating, there will come a point where the distant galaxies are pushed away so fast that their light can never reach us. They will fade from view. They will disappear behind the event horizon of the universe forever. If humans are still around in a few trillion years, they will look up at the sky and see nothing. The other galaxies will be gone. The cosmic microwave background will have stretched out until it is undetectable. They will be alone in a dark, empty void with no evidence that the Big Bang ever happened. We live in a very privileged time in cosmic history. We live in the brief window where the universe is still observable. We can still see the light from the beginning. We can still see our neighbors. We are standing in the center of a 93 billion light year sphere that is slowly running away from us. We are small, yes, but we are the only ones who will ever know the true story of how this all began. If you want to join us as we unravel more mysteries of this impossible universe, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a discovery. Thanks for watching.